Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. This video we've got a review and test of a new bar light from Forever Green Indoors, a Californian company. And this is the Uniformity Pro Flex 600 watt 4x4. And it's designed to deliver the most even light distribution over a 4x4 and at a very high intensity. So we're gonna have a look and see if that really is the case. The light assembles very easily out of the box. It's just a matter of putting together the main frame. It's just the driver and these end beams that just clip together. And then clipping in each of the six LED bars goes in really easy, only takes a few minutes. And then hanging the light up. Each of the bars has really good cooling on the rear of them with really deep fins. On the front, we've got a mixture of cool white and red Osram LEDs for enhanced overall system efficiency. And the, all of the LEDs are coated with a silicon coating to protect them against dust and dirt. The light is physically very big, so it's almost four foot by four foot in size. So it only just squeezes into the four foot by four foot grow area. And it's also a very high wattage light at 600 watts for a four by four. So it's really pushing the limits here. Because of this, I uh, wasn't able to calibrate the dead center measure to a thousand micromoles, which is what I usually do. It's a little bit above that, but as you, you'll see, the overall power intensity is so high that um, I wasn't able to get that center measurement down. But really, if you're running this light, you're into high performance and you're most likely going to be um, supplementing with CO2 to make use of that really high intensity light. As I said, I adjusted up and down to get best measurement I could, most even measurement that I could. And I found this height to be optimum at 42 centimeters or 17 inches. And then I got the Apogee SQ500 quantum sensor and I measured in a grid of eight by eight measurements. So 64 power measurements in all. And that's to get a picture of the spread of light over the grow area and the average intensity. But the light um, draws 634 watts from the wall which as I said, it's a very high powered light for a four x four space. And sure enough, it delivers a really high average power intensity of 1,036 micromoles per watt, which is a very high level. Kind of getting into that territory where you might want to consider uh, supplementing with CO2 to take advantage of that, um, that light intensity. From a system efficiency point of view, the result is outstanding. It's 2.35 micromoles per watt, which is right up there, the top tier in terms of efficiency for a fixture. What's most important really, and as the name suggests, is the uniformity of the spread of this light. As it's filling out the whole area of the um, grow canopy, you can also see in the test result that the uniformity, and that is the lowest measurement in the corner, um, divided into the highest measurement in the center, is very low. There's only 27% difference between the lowest measurement and the highest measurement and this is really outstanding. I think it's the best uniformity figure of any fixture I've ever tested so it really does stand up to its name. Just to give you a bit of perspective I look back at the last six uh, light bars um, tested in a 4x4 and the average uniformity was 3.12 so with this fixture is an order of magnitude better in terms of, of uniformity. And there's no other light really that approaches it in terms of its ability to spread the light that evenly around the canopy. So this light really does deliver. The Uniformity Pro Flex from Forever Green Indoors, really high quality fixture. It's got all the features that you'd want. Dimming, uh, LEDs protected, full spectrum, easy to assemble, high performance, high efficiency light. It does really push the limits in terms of power intensity in a 4x4, but it also spreads the light very evenly. So it's got really the best of both worlds in that case. It's right on that limit where you may need to consider supplementing a little bit with CO2, but I think you might also get away without that and just run it in a normal environment with your temperature and humidity and everything else dialed in. So please check them out. Link is in the description below. And uh, yeah, any questions or comments you have about the, um, the light of this review, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.